It's hard to comprehend now, as we stand outside this historic medieval trading hall, that Dragon Hall was in essence discovered in the 1970s. At the beginning of the 20th century, the Great Hall was almost unrecognisable. It had been turned into six different properties, five dwellings and the old barge public house. The conservation and restoration took place in the 1980s, returning this magnificent structure to its medieval state and opened to the public in 1987. Dragon Hall was the creation of one man, Robert Topps, a wealthy textile merchant who built it in 1427, primarily to display and store his imported goods from Europe and beyond. This was the magnificent centerpiece of the building. Over 26 metres in length, more than 500 large oak timbers used in its construction and decorated with 14 dragon carvings in Baltic wood. And we can see there's one remaining today. The north part of the room would have been the public space, the showroom for a whole range of public goods. And then at the south end, a more private area used to entertain wealthy clients or as a place to sign and seal agreements. Every aspect of the Great Hall, its size, quality, decoration, was intended to show that this was somewhere you could do business with a man you could trust. And Robert Topps was a man you could trust, four times elected mayor of Norwich, four times he represented the city as an MP. He owned land in Norwich and Norfolk. He was a man who spread his net wide. But why did he build his trading hall here on King Street? Well, it was the perfect spot. King Street, the thoroughfare into the city and out to the county beyond, was the only route of bringing goods in from the countryside. And of course the River Wensum allowed the boats to and from England and Europe to bring and take away his goods. Robert Topps, a wealthy man, a wealthy trader who wanted to make a statement. And Dragon Hall was his statement. The development that took place here 10 years ago has made this into a revitalised heritage attraction and resource for our whole community. It tells the tale of over a thousand years of people living and working on this site. It is an outstanding reminder of the rich heritage of our city and one we wish to save for future generations.